Hey, what's up guys? Team Hard Life Captain here with a broken part. Yes, I was pulling up my HXW Raptor and the threads on my main housing here have been stripped out. And it's because of the 10,000 times we've been, you know, rocking this machine back and forth, you know, throughout the years or whatever. So I got to figure a way to reattach it for one, but two, Make sure it's strong enough to absorb all the wear and tear we're gonna put on it and so forth. So uh, here's our next, you know, it's a hard life video. So I'll show you what I'm working with here in just a second. Yeah. Gotta buy, gotta buy. Yeah. Yeah. I think I gotta buy. Got a lot of stress on my mind. It's a nice day to go. Yeah, I got a line. I'm a caller, the whole team. All right, guys, so this is the part where the housing has wallowed out, and you can see how it's pretty damaged right there. This normally sits up here like this on it, and it rocks back and forth. Well, the top end rocks back and forth. Well, so I've got to figure a way to get one of these nut bolts to come through. And that may be the other thing too. I may have to drill the hole out a little bit more, which I really don't want to do. The reason being, because as you can tell, it's got a very small clearance on both the top and the bottom. Start drilling on that, that can be some bad news right there. I may have to buy me a new bar here pretty soon, but I want to see if I can at least jimmy rig it to where I can get back to work. So let's see if this um, will work. All right, so that one will go in, but I need it to see it on the other side. Get in there. Or what I might have to do is clip it short just so I can get it through enough so I can put a bolt on this side. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and do that thing. Trying to thread several hundred times just to get it on this side. So. I'm gonna mark right here. Let me go cut this. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. <laughs> that was a quick one. <laughs> so let's go and get it through. Let's get that started. You know what? I think I can drill that out just a little bit. Wow. Well, yeah, it's pretty bad in there. And I don't, that's the other thing too. I can't drill this end out either too much because then I'll break through the housing on this side and this side. Now if I were to reset it, it'd be fine, but I'd have to remove or move my hole over, over here somehow and redo all of that, which I think I'm gonna end up doing here in the future just because I've hit reels on the inside but like the 60 knots and it don't give me much space where I have to remove it either way. So, um, hmm. <clears throat> that may be something I need to do, but don't have time to do it right now. So let me get my drill bits real quick. Mm -hmm. Are you doing some sneaky feet stuff first? Yeah. Mm. No, I'm recording right now. I don't know I'm getting there. So I don't want to go too big on it because... You know what? Alright, so I'm back and we got my buddy's tap and die set so I can 
figure out what kind of thread this will take so I can get it through. I've already pre-drilled it, but it still has a little bit of play in there. Okay, so here's the deal. I drilled it out just enough to clear all the debris out there, but I gave it a little bit of thread just enough so my bolt can go in and it'll get, create some grip for it. Get this one to fully seat across, then I will lock it down. So here we go. Hopefully I can get the finishing touches on this so I get my spooling machine back up and running. somewhere which I do what I'm doing too is I'm putting a lock wash lock nut on this side so I am back up and running good job all right time to start spooling reels <laughs>